the battle at which you are looking right now? Puts former world's heavyweight champion, Dory Funk Jr. That's the man on the left. In against Big Moon Mulligan. And Dory, of course, a great competitor always, is now in the steps of putting his best foot forward to challenge world's heavyweight champion, Nick Buckwinkle. And Dory has all of the ability that he ever had. And I want to tell you, he is of the champions I have seen in recent years, the one who is most likely to stick to wrestling, the one who is most likely to make the classic wrestling moves as well as possess the ability to get in there and start throwing the legal punishing blows of, of wrestling, the forearm blow and, and the others that rattle your teeth and still stick to the rules. Underneath is Moon Mulligan as he tries now to maneuver. And did you see the manner in which Dory changed the focus of that hold and drove his face down into the into the canvas? Up on top is Dory Funk. That's Moon Mulligan. His arm being turned and held rigidly in the the grip and Dory as he comes in uses that hip well but he hasn't forsaken that arm and as he comes in he manages to stay tightly on top of Big Moon Mulligan. Underneath Mulligan's wondering what happened and is well covered by Dory Funk Jr. Dory's fans, and he's got a lot of them. He and his brother Terry are eyeing, of course, the world's tag team title, and they are putting a lot of their plans into operation. Solid shoulder butt, and Dory starts moving and moving well. Whoa! He twisted, he turned, and he avoided him, and the man underneath is Moon Mulligan. Dory held his own in that exchange. Mulligan's a big man. He comes from the coal mining regions of Pennsylvania, and I mentioned about the forearm blow and he came in that time and he saw an open spot and Dory laid that wall up in there and you could hear it in all the corners of the Coliseum here as he, as he, as he got the right angle and there again he come in to punish him and you can see what's happening to Moon Mulligan. His knees buckled the first time and the second time he found himself getting down onto his face a little bit faster. Hamelock form. Dory Funk, and Funk now as he drops in there, manages to get that knee right in a good solid place, and the former world's champion sticks right in behind him. And Mulligan is looking for a place to throw Funk if he, well, he found a place, I'll tell you. Mulligan just got out of the way there and brought him down and brought him down hard. He may regret that. Dory is uh, capable of um, storing up little provocations like that and then turning them into one gigantic uh, effort to take a man apart. The whipping and the dropping down are all part of Moon Mulligan's attack, the reverse chin lock there is the twist and the turn on the arm and again as Dory comes over he was able to make a solid smash against the 
unprotected ribs on the side of, of Mulligan. Five minutes have gone by. Ten, no, this, this match is down for one fall uh, to a finish. Funk is the kind of a guy who can wrestle for an hour, two hours. His father was a master at that too and brought Dory up to pace himself for the long run whenever possible. Funk Sr.'s adage was that it wasn't necessary to win a match in a couple of minutes. It was just necessary to win it. And the longer you were prepared to go, the better off you were. So Mulligan's having trouble. That arm is twisted and turned. The arm bar is applied well. The referee steps in to ask him if he wants to capitulate. And maybe he should have, but he didn't. Oh, he smashed into him. Nice move by Dory. Oh, man, and this could stop the rapid return of Dory Funk Jr. That was a big man that smashed into him that time and a big man who laid that elbow in there solidly and dropped him hard. The former world's champion is on the canvas and as Moon Mulligan aims him for that turnbuckle, he sure does come out there with the with, with the effort. He tried that time to take the front headlock and then to heist uh, Dory up for a back body drop, but it didn't work. Dory dropped into a well-placed stance. It's Dory's hold, and it looks to me like he's going for the hold that Mulligan wanted to do. Oh! oh! You just had the feeling this ring was just going to break in two as the 325 pounds descended to the canvas. The good move on top is Dory Funk Jr., but there is a foot over the rope, and Mulligan just barely got up with the whole skin that time. Crotch hold and slam, and Mulligan is looking to push Dory Funk Jr. right through that canvas if he if he can. So it's Mulligan now, who seemed like he was pinned, or at least he seemed that way to me just a few moments ago. And instead, he suddenly takes charge with all that extra weight that he has. Front headlock is the, the hold of, um, of Mulligan and the the champion's trying to get into, or the former champion, pardon me. <laughs> I always had a lot of respect for Dory Funk Jr. as world's heavyweight champion. He def defended his title with a lot of dignity and a lot of solid wrestling and a lot of wild matches. And there you note that he's throwing wallops, but he is throwing legal wallops. He rarely hits with a fist, but he hits so solidly with that forearm that sometimes I'm sure his opponents wish he would hit with a fist. Give and take. A lot of solid give and take. And here he goes. He's got the reverse body, uh, a reverse arm lock, double arm lock. He's trying to lift Moon Mulligan, but who can lift Moon Mulligan in that position? <laughs> Dory Funk is straining and trying, and he can't do it, but he's got him there, and he wants to do it, but he's got him up and over and oh, man. And I think that must have busted the ring. Close, close, and... He comes around with a driving wallop again and again, and Mulligan is slowly being obliterated, or at least that's the way it looked to me, but that was not obliteration that, that Dory was heading to. Dory on the outside, and as Moon Mulligan goes after him, 
Mulligan a few moments ago was glassy-eyed in there, and he's still glassy-eyed. Ten minutes. Ten minutes have gone by, and uh, Mulligan is trying to choke Dory Funk Jr. We've got a disqualification. There is a disqualification win for Dory Funk Jr., and we've got the battle proceeding out in the aisle here as they exchange wallops, but Dory again with that forearm wallop of his comes up with the right answer. Dory Funk did it and is still doing it. And so is Mr. Norman. He will do your home repair work and he's a man you can trust. 